New year, new me. Well, actually, for the Republican Party, not so much. That's right. While you were busy ringing in the new year with champagne and Auld Lang Syne. Did I say that right? Auld, Auld, Auld Lang Syne, Auld Lang, Auld Lang Syne, Auld, Auld Lang Zine? Auld Okay, whatever. While you were busy flossing as the ball dropped, Republicans in Washington were busy ramming through another bill to lower taxes in 2019. Okay, wait, what? Lower taxes? That sounds like a good thing. Well, not exactly. On the surface, it may seem like a good idea, but here's why you should feel concerned. I'm about to talk to you condescendingly about something I just learned on Wikipedia six hours ago. And when one of our interns edits in the subtitles, it's gonna make what I'm saying seem, well, important. So why do Republicans want taxes lowered so badly? To understand this fully, we need to take a look back at the GOP's messy history of distorting tax law. Back in the early 1960s, when Paul Ryan first became Speaker of the House, he filibustered for seven days straight to ram through a bill which made it legal for the police to murder LGBTQ people in possession of marijuana. In response, the House Democrats demanded that at the very least, lower taxes should be written into the bill as well. A sneaky backdoor tactic that the Republicans have been exploiting ever since. Slipping in extreme far-right policies under the guise of lower taxes. In the 2017 tax bill, Trump and his Republican cronies were able to hide troubling legislation that allowed for genetic testing on mice slash human hybrids. Uh, yeah. The resulting mutations led to obedient mice men half breeds whose low IQs but superior strength were exploited by the GOP. The mice men were put to work as bodyguards, blocking people of color from voting in the 2018 midterm elections, turning otherwise reliable blue states red. Talk about voter suppression. So what was hidden in the new 2019 bill? You guessed it. More mice men half-breed super soldiers for the GOP. And all we got in return was a 1% tax decrease. Wow. Awesome sauce. And the latest GOP tax cut went even further. Sneaking in a clause summoning the Ancient One, Moreshi Ganluk, Lord of Fear, Keeper of Worlds, to rule over the mice men hybrids and organize them to protest Planned Parenthood facilities across the nation. And this puts young women at risk. We're already hearing reports of women and teenage girls having to slaughter up to four mice men half breeds apiece in order to obtain a safe abortion. Just what the GOP wanted. So the next time you see a Republican senator walking around, wish them a happy new year.